just that standard keypad lock? They didn't even get some bio-authentication? What is this fucking junk Osiris has sent me on? Ah, <sighs> okay. Where's my... Hold on. What on earth? Has this already been disabled? Hold on then. Okay. Weird. Whoa, whoa. Wait. Who's there? Show yourself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no way. It's not you, is it? Oh my god. What are the chances of us ending up on the same ship again? How'd you find out about this one? Oh, Silas, that motherfucker. He swore I was the only one he'd sold that tip to. Last time I'd trust him. Probably. Although, you know, not sure who else I'd go to. God, I was really hoping to have this one to myself. We can't keep bumping into each other like this. You need to find your own abandoned star freighters instead of taking mine. Uh, well, yeah, I suppose you got to this one first. How'd you manage that, though? Silas said this thing had only been reported abandoned a few hours ago. I raced here quick as I could. Damn near burnt out the motivator. I so wanted to get first dibs on this thing. Ugh, were you already in the system or something? Oh, fuck, you got a new ship. How envious do I have to be? How fast is this thing, then? Less than 12 parsecs. Jesus. Okay, no wonder you got here so quick. I got no chance if you're cutting about in something like that. I'd ask how you could afford it, but with the number of mine marks you've been snatching, I guess it's no wonder you splash out. And you're already making your money back, jammy sod. Oh, no, 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 I'm... I'm happy enough in my old clunker. I mean, I have to be. It's all I got. All I can afford, especially when I keep losing out on jobs because of the likes of you. <laughs> no, I'll just have to up my game. Be shrewd about the marks I pick up. I've been doing this long enough, I should be able to recognise the potential in a job that others might not. No, I don't need your sympathy or your charity. I'll be fine. Just... Look, we got here basically the same time. You think you'll do the right thing and split the loot with me? We don't have to go halves if you... If you don't want to. What about 40-60? No, like I said, I don't want your charity. You got here first but only trust. Seems fair enough to me that you get a little more, but only a little, okay? Alright. 4060 it is. To you, of course. What have you found so far, then? This was meant to be a droid freighter, wasn't it? Tricky cargo droids. Unless it was mostly spare parts, which, on a rattly old thing like this, I'm guessing maybe it was. Yeah, you've had a droid haul before, haven't you? I swear I saw your name against the transfer in the Clavis Aurea sector a few years ago. That was all droids, wasn't it? Market was flooded for a while after that, couldn't shift the droid for half the retail price. Oh, I must have been misremembering. Well, if you manage to get a hall full of droids, it can be potentially lucrative, but it's a pain in the ass to get them sold. You have to cross your fingers and hope that you can find the private key they encrypted with, otherwise it's impossible to activate them. And nobody wants a deactivated droid except for scrap. Good luck cracking that encryption too. No one could do it as far as I know. Oh yeah, I've I've taken on a couple droid jobs in the past. First one was incredible. One of the best takes I've ever made. I was absolutely reeling for a few weeks after that. Thought I was set for life. <laughs> That's when I bought the ship I've got now. When it was new, the latest thing, it was it's actually pretty good if you can believe it. Not so much anymore. But, second time I went for droids, complete write-off. I didn't even make the money back on the fuel it cost to get out to it, right on the edge of a system. Couldn't activate a single one of the fuckers. Couldn't even sell them for individual parts, they were all encoded already. Only managed to sell them for melted down scrap. Such a waste. Uh, why am I telling you this, anyway? <laughs> yeah, I'd have a right laugh if you ended up with hundreds of deactivated droids you couldn't sell. That'd make my day. Of course, for your luck, you'd probably find the private key wrapped up in a nice package in the old, with a little bow on top and everything. Tch. Oh, wait, so... What, this one isn't droids? <sighs> F 
fucking Silas. He told me it was. Well, I'm kind of relieved. I thought I'd take a chance on droids again. It's been a while. Just for a bit of a change of pace, you know. But I wasn't looking forward to all the fuss. What is it then, if not droids? Uh, what? Ink? What the fuck are you robbing a freighter full of ink for? Who uses ink anymore? After La Madre's cut, you're going to make hardly anything. Oh, printer ink. Okay, I see now. Yeah, that'll fetch a pretty penny. One of the most valuable liquids going, even on the black market, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. Well, okay, I guess I'm on board. Hmm. Now, I figure... Look, your ship might be sporty, but I reckon it probably can't tow all that much, right? Too much load on a high-frequency motivator like that isn't going to do it any good. <laughs> See, I thought so. You didn't think that through all the way, did you? Whereas my ship might be slow, but it sure can haul ass when it needs to. Oh yeah, I could almost pull this whole freighter on my own. But, how about we combine forces, do it together? That'd be easier for both of us then, right? Yeah, saves on loading up the ink and shipping it out one bit at a time. I reckon with both our ships combined, we could move this whole freighter, sell the ink and the ship in one go. Make way more that way. It'll almost make up for going halves. Hmm, okay. And, seeing as I'm helping so much now, I think I'd like to modify the terms of the deal. No more 60-40. We do an even split. You'll still be making more money than you would if you had to all this thing on your own. Deal? All right. <coughs> Shake on it. <sighs> Good. Look, I'm comfortable enough working with you on this one job, but don't bank on it happening again, okay? I'm sure you'd love that, but as soon as this is done, I'll be going to see Silas, get my tip feedback off him, by force if I have to, I'm not letting that little shit double dip on a tip like this, especially when I got it completely wrong. Then I'll be finding another informer, and I doubt I'll be back here in this system anytime soon. That guy seems to get everything round here, but he's getting more and more unreliable. For me, at least. You don't seem to do too bad off his information. <laughs> nah, if I didn't know better, I'd almost suspect something was going on between you and him. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think so. Not really. That poor guy, he tries way too hard. But he's also a piece of shit with bad info, so I'm not going to feel too sorry for him. Break his heart for me at some point, would you? Really crush his spirits. <laughs> Cheers. Still, I suppose this whole thing could be worse. It's almost nice to be working with you again. Nostalgic, almost. Oh yeah, no, I... I think it was for the best that we stopped working together. Just too different, you know? Besides, I've done well enough for myself, working on my own. You seem to... Well, you're certainly doing well enough, aren't you? Better than me, even, I'd say, if you can afford a ship like that. Either that or you're in a shitload of debt. <laughs> no, I'm only messing. You were always the smart one. If either of us is likely to end up in millions of credits of debt for a ship they'd never be able to afford, it's me but I'm not quite that daft. Or that desperate. Not yet, anyway. Though apparently, I am desperate enough to work with you again, so it must be getting pretty bad. Oh, you know, got some repairs to do that I can't really afford. And if I don't do those repairs soon, I won't be going anywhere. And then I won't be able to afford the repairs even harder. So, yeah, I really needed this one, to be honest. Uh... <clears throat> I suppose I should say thank you for agreeing to split the job with me. You didn't have to do that. It's always fine as keepers with this sort of thing. Early bird gets the printer ink and all that. So, I'm grateful that you agreed. Thank you. Yeah, I know, I know. I said it was the right thing to do and all that, but I'm not so sure I would have in your position. I mean, maybe, but uh, it's not likely. No. I'm not a good man. Not anymore. Desperate men do bad things. This is one of the cleanest jobs I've taken in a while, truth be told. Abandoned ship, no... 
no victims, no holding anyone up or anything. No, 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 I haven't killed. Well, not directly. I mean, I've had to do a little sabotage here and there on ships I wanted to board. People might have got hurt. I, I try not to think about it. I'm just doing what I have to do to stay afloat. Yeah, so I was looking forward to this one. A nice, clean job. No real risk. No chance of innocent people getting hurt or scared. I thought, maybe this could be my way back into a better life. Mm Mm-hmm, you know, actually I thought, maybe after this, might be my last job, or one of the last. You know I said you probably wouldn't see me again after this, that I'd be leaving the system, going to find something new. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to be going after more jobs like this. I want to leave this life behind and go straight. I was even thinking of starting my own freight business, something like that. You know, I've been thinking that this business just isn't for me anymore. Scavenging and stealing and always working in the shadows, you know. Never able to live your life out in the open. Uh, Sometimes it's fun. There's a thrill to it, yeah. I agree. Especially when I was younger. When when we were still working together. But these days I just don't know if I want the risk. Yeah, I... I want to spend time with people I know and like. Hell, I've got to find people I like first. I don't always want to be with people who are at each other's throats all the time. The friends you make in a field of work like this are, are no real friends. Betrayal's always right round the corner when you're all fighting tooth and nail to stay above water. <laughs> I'd say horrible as I'm sure it sounds. You're probably the closest thing I've had to a real friend for a long time. And even then, look how we ended up. It wasn't pretty, was it? No. So, once this is all done, I'm... I'm gonna do my best to go clean and start a new life on the straight and narrow. I even thought... Silly pipe dream, really, but when I heard this job was an abandoned freighter... I thought I might screw the job completely and just take the freighter itself. Use it for what it was meant for, you know? Run my own little business as a freight runner. With legit cargo, not stolen stuff. Depending on the condition of it, anyway. I don't know what's wrong with this thing, but... I got one contact who I reckon could fix it up. It didn't look too badly damaged from the outside. Yeah. Tell me, have you ever... Have you ever thought about that? About going straight, I mean? Like, well, it seems you're really wedded to this life, you know? It suits you, and you're good at it. Clearly better at it than me. But have you ever had any doubts? Any any dreams that don't involve cheating and stealing and sneaking around? Oh, you actually have? I didn't expect... I, I didn't think you would have... Well, just because it, like I said, it seems so well suited to you. And you're very good at stealing stuff, making dodgy black market connections. I was always envious of your natural aptitude for this. So, yeah, it's surprising to me to hear that you'd want to give it up. I was asking, expecting you to make fun of me. But I suppose I can't blame you. It's easy to romanticise what we do, but at the end of the day, it's dirty and it's dangerous and it's it's lonely so what you think you're going to try and get out soon is that the plan or is this all a bit up in the air no firm ideas at the moment yeah and I I get it it's hard to imagine actually making a big change I've been thinking about it for ages since we stopped working together pretty much Now I come to think of it, the end of our partnership was something of a catalyst for all this. 
I think once we parted ways, the spark for this work was kind of gone. I kept doing it on autopilot for a bit, but... Yeah, the thought of hanging it all up and doing something else has been in my noggin ever since we parted. You know, uh, I'm going to need to... I I think you know what I'm going to say, don't you? You're always one step ahead of me. But I'm going to say it anyway. I'll need a partner for this little freight business I'm planning, you know. Huge freight shit like this, I wouldn't want to handle it on my own. Do you want to... Do you want to work together again? Get out of this life, take this freighter, head off together into another system and work honestly without having to live in the shadows. Yeah? Really? You mean it? (laughs) Brilliant. I mean... Bloody hell, working with you again is my worst nightmare and all that, but... Also, I... I can't think of anybody I'd rather do it with. Yeah. Fuck. What are the chances of this all working out, you know? Of it being you I met on this piece of junk. Although, I guess there aren't many of our kind left anymore. They're really cracking down on our line of work. Well, now I guess there are two more gone... Let's, uh, let's get this thing hitched up and get out of here then. And it's good to be working with you again, my old friend.